Hello Namaste and welcome to this new episode in which we are going to speak about yoga and karma. Let's go. So, as I briefly said last week, I've got my new flat. I finally have my new studio flat, which has been kind of a dream that I had for, I think, two years or something. And that's why, um, also it's a little bit empty yet, um, I'm probably gonna at least buy a plant, so you have a bit of a background. But uh, let's speak about karma. Because to have this flat, I had a very, very good karma. When I got the viewing, the kind of agent uh, was like, oh my god, you are so lucky that they are really considering your application because I had so many people on the thing. Well, it's quite big, it's quite well situated and it's not too expensive, so... And she told me something, she was like, wow, I think you really did something well in your life to deserve this. And I kind of agreed a little bit with her, I was like, yeah, I mean, this is so great, like, I, I did, I must have done something good, you know? <laughs> and of course, you know, I know that not everybody believes that um, this kind of idea of destiny or I don't know, but it's quite fun. And also when I was telling people about this flat, I was like, oh, I'm so lucky, like, I can't believe it. And they were like, no, you're not lucky, you, you've done something. So I'm just going to introduce karma and what it is because it's also um, something that is very connected to yoga and it's connected to many spiritual practices, to many religions. Um, but let's have a look at it. So let's have a look at what internet is telling us. So according to Wikipedia, karma means action, work or deed. The term also refers to the spiritual principle of cause and effect, often descriptively called the principle of karma. So basically, it's when someone um, does something with a good intention, then they will have a good effect in the life. And because in yoga, there's this idea that you also have the karma of your previous life, that's gonna be very visible in your current life. So I think it's important to um, kind of have this idea that it's very, um, it has a lot to do with the intention. So it's like doing something good without expecting something good in return. It's just very genuine. It's just very generous for me. Um, when I do something good, it feels good. You know, it's very intuitive um, and I'm not doing, I'm not calculating how it's going to have an impact on me. I'm just giving something and not looking back. And that's true that the last month I worked quite hard um, in the way that I took some jobs and I started to do house cleaning. Um, I really put myself out there. I also started life modeling, which I love. And I just tried to do really my best in everything I was doing. So even when I was just cleaning a house, I really tried to do it well. And also not to do well because I was expecting something, but just to do well uh, for the people so they are happy with the service. And this is something I've been really trying to do, like really trying to help people as much as possible, trying to be generous. And um, now I've got this. <laughs> and I'm just so grateful, like I'm so happy that I have this place, that I have this uh, beautiful studio flat. And even though I am not like, I think 100% believing this thing of karma, I'm really getting there because I think it's also quite fun. And I don't think beliefs are there as um, kind of truth, but I think they can really serve us um, and we can really use them if they are serving us. And I know that for me, this idea of karma, of being very genuine, of working to do some good things, it's something that serves me in my life because then I'm just putting myself out there, I'm trying my best and I just think it's something that is useful for me to believe in this idea of karma, in this other idea of how can I just put in the world as much good as I can and um, this is something that is also part of the yoga practice, you don't only have the exercises, you also have this kind of philosophical aspect, this kind of way of life 
And for me also, how can I learn from my mistakes to try to become better and better and to be really able to bring that good stuff in the world. So thank you for watching this uh, video about karma. And next week we're going to speak about loneliness. So I hope you are as excited. Thank you for watching. Merci. Namaste.